It is time to have the light round crib drivers of our cold oil and state tender by Bell by Celsius. So we don't know the cold stock right away. Blaine is him. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski daddy. Time for the light round crib drivers. Let's start with Naveen in Florida. Naveen. Hi, Jim. How's it going? It's going well. How about you? Doing well, doing well. Thank you. Uh, uh, been a long time viewer, first time caller. Thank you. Uh, I'd like your take on Biogen. B -I -I -B. You know what? I, I'm not really impressed with what they're doing. I, particularly the dementia, I thought was going to be much better. The dementia drug. I will point this out. It's really important. I think Eli Lilly is going to crush him in this business, and I'd rather see you in that one. Let's go to Joe in Maryland. Joe. Hey, Jim. How are you doing today? I am doing well. How about you? I'm not bad for an old timer. There you go. I'm going to tell you what, I just bought into a, uh, a defense company not long ago, and I do value your opinion. And I'd like to know if uh, you think I ought to buy more or just hold on to what I got. And that company would be Kratos. Kratos, we recommended that, like, repeatedly when I was at 12, and it did nothing for so long. I am glad it finally moved, but let's keep it at the size that you have it. Because that's you, that's had a very very nice move, and I don't want to come in on top of it. Let's go to Matt, New York, Matt. Hey, Jim, big booyah from upstate New York. All right, good to have you on the show. How can I help? Was calling out to get your thoughts on a memory and storage solution company that's coming to upstate New York. The company name is Micron. Okay, I like Micron. I like Sanjay Marotrim. What's his stock? This is a stock, by the way, that when it starts rolling, it doesn't just roll for a quarter or two. It rolls for a couple of years. We're mid of that move, just in the middle of it. Let's go to Brian in North Carolina. Brian. How are we doing? We're going with Bank of America. I yes, we are going to go with Bank of America, which hit a 52-week high today, yields two and a half. It is still way too cheap at 11 times earnings. <laughs> Not done. Let's go to Brendan in New Jersey. Brendan. Hello, Jim. Hey, Brendan. What's happening? I am calling in about a company that IPOs. Hello. Did All we right. lose oh, Brian? Sorry. There you go. Good. Good. Okay. I'll be quick. F I H L. Uh, not a favorite. Uh, up too much. Don't like the cohort. Don't like insurance. Sorry. Let's go to Harrison in California. Harrison. Hey, Jim. Thanks for taking my question. Oh, absolutely. Me and my buddy Steve, are, uh, we're both buried in this stock that reported earnings yesterday. What do you think we should do with symbol frog? Okay, frog. I'm going to give you two animals here. I'll give you a frog and data dog. Both of them can turn out to be too expensive. I would be a seller of almost all the enterprise software companies here. They are not where to be. They are yesteryear. Uh, let's go to Brian in Texas. A lot of Brian's. Brian. Uh, booyah, Jim. Uh, booyah. Close to the 52-week high. Um, Chevron. Any further upside? Oh man, Mike Worth is just driving that thing. That stock sees 200 before it goes. It sees 200. That's what I'm looking at. And that, ladies and gentlemen, conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, survive the unknown. Thrive in any market. Kramer invites you to the Game of Games. Play Am I Diversified? Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.